over our Psycho 1 Week 3 Science Experiments. We're going to have two experiments this week, number 57 and 58 in the Van Cleave book. I'm going to go over what each experiment is and then what I'll be doing in class. The first experiment you're going to do is a ground temperature experiment. What the experiment is, is you are going to have, here are your supplies, you're going to have two thermometers, and then you're gonna have a towel, which I don't think you're really gonna need. And then it says in here, a uh, trowel, but actually I'm just going to have a shovel. And before your class even starts right away in the morning, I will go out and dig three separate holes that are four inches deep for you to put your thermometer in. So before you'll see where the, I'll let you know where the holes are. There's three of them because there's three classes out there at a time. And then uh, they'll be spaced apart so that you guys can, um, have room and they'll be somewhere in the sun. And then the three holes, you can either put your thermometers next to them beforehand so that they're ready for you when you get out there or just carry them out there when you go out, either is fine. So you do not have to bring the shovel or worry about digging your own hole, I'll take care of that for you. Just make sure you have your thermometers. So the purpose of this experiment, um, you have your script that we've already created to give you a guideline of how to go through the scientific method with your students, some questions to ask, some questions to get them thinking. This one is all about ground temperature. So you'll have your printout of some images of animals that, um, that use the ground in hot weather to stay cool. So we're really kind of researching how desert animals spend their day underground and why do they do that? Why do they burrow holes underground? And here's a bunch of animals. And you can ask your students some questions about this. Why would they dig holes underground? And can they think of any other animals? That kind of thing. So follow through your, um, your um, script of stuff to think about. You can talk about all this stuff beforehand while you're inside. And then you can say, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see is our question is, is the ground temperature cooler or hotter underground versus above ground? And what do the kids think? Um, that's the first experiment. This experiment's gonna take you literally less than five minutes to um, put your thermometer underground. You're gonna cover it with the dirt. You just, with your hand, just put the dirt back over it. Um, and then you're gonna leave one thermometer out. So you have one underground, four inches underground, one out in the sun, hopefully it's a sunny day and you're going to wait five minutes at least and then while you do the other experiment and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna, you know, with your hand, because it'll be you know easy, is you're just gonna get this and you're gonna compare which temperature is cooler, above ground or below ground. And the answer is below ground and that's why these desert animals, you go underground to cool off and to stay cool in the hot sun. Um, and so you'll see if your hypothesis was correct or not correct, and then that experiment is done. Um, the second experiment is um, the blending experiment. And in this case, um, your supplies, again, I will have this all taken care of for you. Please bring your supplies with to class so that I can do them. You have your sticks. I'm gonna go and measure um, a 20, I think it's 20 meter, or 20 feet square in the backyard of the church. So I'll just need your sticks. I will have this, you won't need it. I'm just gonna use this to put the sticks in the ground. And I'm not sure if you have string or not, but I will be using the string So if you have it. And I will just square off um, a five foot square so that you can use it for your experiment. You're also gonna get, which I have for you, in your experiments that you've got supplies, you got these, but I just didn't feel there was enough you know, you can either had to cut these really small to get enough at, or, um, you know, so I made these for you. This is actually 120 individual pieces of um, pipe cleaners and there's a different color. So your, the whole purpose of this experiment is to see if blending and camouflage animals doesn't make a difference and, you know, what's the purpose of it. Um, so uh, you will have these in that square that I make. You will have your bag, you can bring it out with you. I'll give it to you before class. And then you are going to scatter the pipe cleaners in this, in this square um, marked off area. And then you're going to have the kids, you're gonna set a timer. You're gonna give them five minutes. So whatever timer you have on your phone. And then you're going to um, 
see if they can find all of them. When they find all of them, they can put them in a baggie, and you have your baggies from last week if you'd like to bring them, or um, my class is older. I don't think they really need a baggie. It's really simple to hold however many they have in their hand. So if you want to have a baggie for the kids to put them in, or if they just want to hold the ones in the hand. And when they're all done, you're gonna see if you found them all because everybody will count how many pipe cleaners they have and it will add up to 120. If it hasn't added up to 120, keep looking. If at the end of the day, you're only at 115 or whatever, because some of these green or brown ones may be difficult to find, which is the point. So if you can't find all of them, don't worry, just do your best. Um, but you'll know you have all of them if you have 120. So. That's what the experiment outside is. I will, like I said, bring your trowels to, and, I, and give them to me in the morning. I will go measure it off with the tape measure and measure off with your string the, the square radius. You will just need to bring this out with you when you go out with your students and possibly a baggie if you want your students to have a baggie. So that's what the experiments are. When you are going to discuss this experiment with your students, um, again, what we'll be doing for my class, which is the older class, is we will be getting out our science journals. I will be, um, we'll be going through each experiment. We're gonna open off each experiment with the scientific method, and, um, and it's a little different from last year, so we'll, we'll just be seeing Scientific method, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. So that's the, the scientific method. Uh, if you need better actions, you can look on the actions that Renee did, or that Dana did. So again, you guys made your journals so they can look at this while they sing the new song. Um, you're just gonna go through, we've got stuff that we've taped, our class has taped in there. You're gonna go to the next page. Our students are gonna put their, the date on it for today. The name of the experiment. As I'm reading through my script, I want this, I'm gonna be having my st older students, I have the master's class, you know, writing what is our question. So our question for the blending is, um, you know, do animals need camouflage for safety? Um, and really demonstrate how they use camouflage. Does that protect them from predators? The question for ground temperature is, do, is the temperature below ground cooler or warmer for um, underground? So we're gonna write our questions and then we're gonna think through our research. Do we know anything? This is probably where during the research portion we'll use my pictures and you can read the questions to get them thinking. We'll make our hypothesis, our educated guess on what's gonna happen. They're just going to make some notes about what their guess is. And then we're gonna talk about what the experiment is. So they know what's gonna happen when they go out and then we will um, go do the experiment and then we'll come back and then they will write in their journal their results or draw a picture of something or some kind of observation. The point is that they're making um, observations and using their science journal for these. And then, and then that will be it. So um, hopefully that's helpful for you. And if you have any questions, let me know.